Trouble in Paradise, Chapter 5, Zero Sum Game. I remember what it was like to be underwater when I was a human. The muffled voices, the loss of your own, and the struggle for freedom. The sensation is the same. It is a prison. It is her prison. And I will not let her keep me inside it. Mary, you need to help me. Ash wants me dead. You don't know what she's capable of. Help you? You are Ash. I'm Lee. L Lee? Newton, you said you wanted to know what happened to him. He didn't die. Not that day. Not in the rift explosion. What? Your bum's out the window now that I've got the upper hand. Uh, no! He wasn't there when the lab detonated. I'll tell you everything. Just help me! The other one fights back as I drag her from the surface. It is harder than I anticipated to put her back in her cage. Since she's awoken, her strength has grown. I must not let it grow any further. <gasps> Lee? She's not here. And she will not return. I hope you two had a pleasant conversation. It will be the last one you ever have. <gasps> Please, Mary, Newton! <sighs> be quiet! Ash? Lee, I don't care what your name is. Tell me the truth about my son. Poor Dr. Summers. She comes at me with the sword, but her anger clouds her. It is easy to disarm her and trap her within my arc snare. I should have known you'd resort to cheap tricks. When I get out of this, I'll... I will use anything at my disposal to reach my objective, Doctor. If she was going to threaten me, the words die on her tongue as I pick up what I came for. The sword. I feel the other one rising within me, trying to take control. Hmm. That this blade would be used to threaten me a second time. I will not perish by its edge again. The other one will cease to exist when I destroy everything that embodies her past weaknesses. And this sword is one of them. I snap it in two, and let the pieces fall to the ground. There is a wonderful silence, as though the prisoner inside me has faded away. Oh. You broke it? What did you even come here for? <laughs> I have no time for your questions. If you intend to get in my way, then allow me to teach you what it means to stand against me. The other one has met her end, and now you will too. She struggles against the snare. Her eyes are defiant even as she stares down the barrel of my gun. Her tenacity is admirable but it's not enough to keep her alive. My finger is on the trigger. I... miss. I attempt to recenter my aim, but there is a resistance in my arms. She is still here. The other one has a hold of me, protecting the doctor. Protecting her plan. I throw the gun to the ground. It clatters loudly, metal scraping as it skitters across the tile. Damn you! I will destroy everything binding you to this world! Do your worst! You won't get the drop on me this time. Dr. Summers has broken free of my snare. Her own weapon is leveled at me. <clears throat> Don't give yourself so much credit. 
and this parasite must be eliminated. I know where to begin. The sword wasn't enough. I looked past Dr. Summers to the storage unit it came from. The screen glows with the name of that wretched scientist's next of kin. Paquette. Oh. Paquette? What does Natalie have to do with anything? Her words spark a memory of the Marvin from days prior. Natalie, he called her, or Watson, a granddaughter of one of his creators. I stare at the name on the storage unit. Natalie Paquette. Always the helpful one, aren't you, Dr. Summers? I didn't... Where are you going? I'll shoot you, I swear. <sighs> then shoot. You were the one who sought me out, demanding answers about your son. Perhaps I will take them with me when you put that bullet in my head. You are free to do what you please. But my target is elsewhere. I hear her lower the weapon. Once again, knowledge prevails. But what I know, the other one knows. Until I rid myself of her, I cannot be what I truly am. Perfection. Next, one last piece.